back slowly with those things, they will creep. Okay, it was locked off. Okay. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a firefighter. I tried for a brief period to be a firefighter when I graduated from high school up in Seattle, Washington, but they took one or two people per year out of thousands. And in the meantime, I ended up going to college and, and kind of went off on that trajectory. But when we moved back here to Oregon and we were reading about the fire in the gorge, uh, we saw an article that said search and rescue volunteers hiked in to stay the night with hikers that were trapped above the fire line. And when I saw that information, I said, oh, that's what I want to do. That was my next move. There's nothing like finding a, a subject alive and well and happy to see us and getting them back to base where their family is waiting for them. That makes it all worth it to know that I was involved in something kind of outside of me. I really like to be a part of a team to be of service with, with these incredibly talented, capable people. We all bring our little piece to the puzzle. I've been a professional musician, specifically a pianist and keyboardist. I officially started as a professional in 1998, based in New York City. I was at the right place at the right time to really be able to have a great career. Over here to my right, from uh, New York City, magnificent pianist, Mr. Nick Roth. I was Aretha Franklin's pianist for the last three years of her life. I worked with Sting, I worked with Bruce Springsteen, I've worked with Adina Menzel, The Eurythmics, and Annie Lennox, Busta Rhymes, NDRE, kind of the whole gamut. The opportunity to make a living being creative, I feel super fortunate to be able to do that. But I also have a side of me that wants to be physical. I like to ride the edge a little bit. Search and rescue and, and technical rope rescue are, are inherently dangerous things. And I like that little sense of adventure, a little bit of danger, and, and uh, ultimately being of service, having it be leading to a good outcome. Change over here. And just look at your pick. Find the anchor. That's your load size. This side. What I've learned from both music mentors and search and rescue mentors is that we don't know the answers to everything. We're not the best at everything. Being a musician is part of being a team. Being on search and rescue is being part of a team. We all bring our collective knowledge together and our collective abilities. And as a collective body, now all of a sudden we're unbreakable. Stop, stop. I'm thankful I get to do it. You know, we don't know what this life brings us, like many of the missions that we're on, those people went out to go have fun and didn't know the sudden left turn that life sometimes throws at you. I want to live this life full and have it have meaning and have it have purpose outside of my family that I'm blessed to have and a career that I'm blessed to have. This is just another thing on top of that. <laughs>